So with the knowledge now of polar coordinates, we can now have some double integrals involving polar regions. So integrals. Double, double integrals involving polar regions. So evaluate double integral x squared plus y squared dA R, where R is the region bounded by the curve x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 and y is equal to 0 for y greater or equal to 0. So we are going only to have our region which is above y axis or where all y values are all positive. And the line y is equal to zero, it is an x axis. And this curve x squared plus y squared is equal to four. That is a curve which is a part of a circle. And x squared plus y squared is equal to four, this simplifies to in polar coordinates now, it simplifies to R is equals to two, which is a circle of radius two. So in our solution, we sketch the region first. So our region is a semicircle, and a semicircle is part of a circle. And a circle is a polar region. Hence, evaluation of this double integral will be simpler when we convert everything into polar coordinates. Now, we would like to convert everything into polar coordinates. Not x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared is equal to r squared. This implies the integral region r x squared plus y squared dA will be equal to 
a double integral I still in our region R but this one will be R squared dA now will be R d R d theta which will be equal to a double integral R cubed dr d theta. Now limits from this region, the limits for R. R is changing. In this particular region, when you start from zero from the R region, you go to two. At any given point, you go to two. At any given point, two. At any given point. So it is changing throughout the region. R is changing from zero to two units. So we have limit for R. Lower limit is zero, upper limit two. Now the theta here, theta in this particular section changes, here we have zero degrees. It changes, it changes, it changes. Zero to pi radians. Remember limits of integration are, should normally be put into radians. So when you have zero to 180, 180 degrees is pi ray radians. So this one will say from zero to pi to pi. So when we simplify further now, this particular integral, we are going to have r power four all over four. We put limits zero to two. We remain with the integral zero to pi and d theta. With the insertion of limits, this will be zero to pi. This will be four d theta. Four d theta. If we insert our limits, four d theta. When we simplify for this will be four theta. We input zero to pi which gives us 4 pi. And that is the evaluation of this double integral over the said region, which was a polar region. So evaluate 0 to 3 from negative root of 9 minus x squared positive root of that. When we have such an integral to evaluate from the limits, these are limits for y and these are limits for y. From the lower limit of y, we say y is equal to negative root of 9 minus x squared. This implies what? y squared will be 9 minus x squared. That is, therefore, x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. So it seems from the lower limit and upper limit, we are going through a circle, a portion of a, a circle. Therefore, we need to sketch this so that we, know, we need to know the type of the region. If we know we are dealing a portion, the region is a part of a circle, then it is better to convert everything into polar coordinates. It will be simpler to evaluate it in that particular mode than when it is in Cartesian form, which will be, a ma will be more tedious in evaluation. So let's sketch the region before we convert everything into polar coordinates. Now it, now it seems when a line L was drawn, less because we are starting with the dy, we put some arbitrary construction line. And we say that is a line L. It was entering where y was a negative. So that part of a circle where y is a negative. And leaving a part of a circle where y was a positive. 
So when you draw the sac of radius, this is a sac of radius 3. So here we have minus 3 and 3. So that part of the sac, we have the 3, the minus 3. The region will be like this because the x values are only starting from 0 to 3. So 0 to 3. So this becomes our region. So that's the circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. So this is our region R. That is our region R. So this implies that the integral 0 to 3, 0 to negative root of 9 minus x squared root of 9 minus x squared, x squared plus y squared this one would be equal to in polar now x squared plus y squared that is r squared R squared raised to power 5 over 2, we get R power 5. R power 5. The y dx will be R dr d theta. Now limits from this region. R is changing throughout this region. R is changing from 0 to 3. R is changing from 0 to 3. Now, the limits, because this region starts here and going this way, we normally have a positive sense of direction. A positive sense of direction is movement in anti-clockwise direction. So, anti-clockwise, we are starting where theta is negative pi all over 2. Up to where theta is positive pi all over 2. So theta changes from negative pi all over 2 to positive pi all over 2. Now when we simplify this, this will be from minus pi all over 2 to positive pi all over 2. When we integrate that, we get r power 7 all over 7. r power 7 all over 7. We have this from 0 to 3, then d theta. This will be equal to from minus pi all over 2 to pi all over 2, 2187, all over 7. Theta, which will be equal to 2187 all over 7 theta. We insert from minus pi all over 2 to positive pi all over 2 to positive pi all over 2. Which is equal to 2187 all over 7 pi. And that's the answer to that evaluation. That's the answer to that evaluation. So use the double integral to determine the volume of the solid bounded by the surfaces. Z is equal to 3x squared plus 2y squared. 
and z is equal to 16 minus x squared minus 2y squared. So in our solution here, since we are dealing with two surfaces, one surface must be above the other. And from just at a glance, you can see when x is 0, y is 0, z here will be equal to 16. And here when x is 0, y is 0, z will be equal to 0. So this other surface is above this other surface. So the our z2 will be, uh, our z2, z2 will be equal to 16 minus x squared minus 2y squared. And z1 will be equal to 3x squared plus 2y squared. So what denotes, what denotes the height is height z, height z will be equal to z2 minus z1, which is now equal to 16 minus x squared minus 2y squared minus this, minus 3x squared minus 2y squared, which will be equal to 16 minus 4x squared minus 4y squared. Therefore, height z will be equal to that. We also need the region of intersection where we'll get our limits for double integration. So region of intersection, region of intersection. Region of intersection will be equal to equal to region of intersection is obtained region of intersection is obtained when z2 is equal to z1 and z2 is equal to z1 that is now 16 minus x squared minus 2y squared will be equal to 3x squared plus 2y squared plus 2y squared. This implies 16 is equals to 4x squared plus 4y squared. That is x squared plus y squared is equals to 4. Therefore, the region of intersection the region of intersection. Is a circle, is a circle center. Center zero zero radius. Radius two units. It's a circle center that radius two units. Therefore, volume, volume will be equal to double integral R, Z, dy, dx, which will be equal to double integral. Our Z is 16 minus 4x squared minus 4y squared dy dx region r. Since region r is a circle, we simply convert everything into polar coordinates. So this will be the double integral. This will be 16 minus 16 minus 4r squared. Then we have here dy dx is r dr d theta. 
the limit for a full circle. This is a circle of radius 2 in it, so r will be changing from 0 to 2. And since it is a full circle, theta will be changing from 0 to 2 pi. 0 to 2 pi. So evaluation of that double uh, integral, this one will be equal to 0 to 2 pi. And we evaluate 16, uh, 16 r, so this one will be equal to 0 to 2 pi, 0 to 2 pi. When we integrate this, we get 8r squared. When we integrate this, we get r power 4. And this from 0 to 2 d theta. It will be 0 to 2 pi. Just that 2 minus 16 d theta it will be equal to 0 to 2 pi 16 theta 16 d theta which will be equal to 16 theta compared to 0 to 2 pi then say here will now be 32, 32 pi cubic units. And that is the volume of such, the volume of the indicated solid.